Welcome to Truman's Town Hall with your host, Matt Truman. All right, so we're live. Hello, everyone. Hope everybody's having a good night. Today, we're going to run down the election results here in Ohio. It's my first time doing a live like this, but it's election night. Why not? Let's see here. I'm going to give you some of the election results that are coming in. Looks like 78% is in for the governor, lieutenant governor on the Democrat side. It looks like Nan Whaley is in the lead. With 64% of the vote, and John Cranley with 35% of the vote. On the Republican side, looks like uh, old DeWine is sitting at 47%. Uh, Jim Renisi, 37, or 20, I'm sorry, 27%. And Joe Blystone at 22%. Ron Hood at 2%. Let's look at some of the attorney general. Uh, there's two candidates running there. So on the Democrat side, you have Jeffrey Grossman and Dave Yost. They'll be going at it. In the upcoming election, let's auditor. Same deal. Only two people running. Here's my thing. Folks, you need to run for office, right? We shouldn't let these folks, you know, if you're a Democrat or you're a Republican, run for office. Going in one-on-one -on -one or, or just a singular candidate, who likes that? Anyway, uh, Taylor Sappington for the Democrat side and Keith Faber for auditor of the state of Ohio. Secretary of State, Frank LaRose, who was endorsed by Donald J. Trump, is winning for the Republicans with 64% of the vote. And John Adams, who I got to see him speak at the Resistance Chicks uh, event over at Harvest Revival Center. Amazing. Amazing guy. And it's it stinks that he's only got 35%. And the Democrats, Clarissa Clark, she's running unopposed with 100% of the vote. Treasurer, same deal, one-on-one. -on -one. Democrats put up one, Republicans put up one. Democrats, Scott Schreitzer and Republicans, Robert Sprague. <clears throat> Let's look at the U.S. Senate. So U.S. Senate Democrats, Morgan Harper with 17%, Tracy Johnson with 12%, and Tim Ryan with 69%. I mean, we can call it for Tim Ryan right there. U.S. Senator for the Republican side, which is a, a, a hotly uh, contested race there for the Republicans. Republican, there was a lot of Republicans out running, and it's awesome. As you can tell, I'm in my basement. I was going to set up in the office. Oh, well. I'm coming down in the basement so I can be loud and do whatever. Uh, it's 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 tight in the Republican side, but J.D. Vance is holding holding the line with 31 uh, percent, and coming in second with 78 percent of the vote. In is Josh Mandel. So it's 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 tight. It's tight. Uh, anything could pop off. Uh, J.D. Vance has 296,000. 931 votes, and Josh Mandel's 222,856. Um, so that right there, folks, that's what it is at 78%. Now, don't get discouraged if you're a Republican. Don't get discouraged if you're a Republican, because there is, let's see here, there is something that you might be interested in. 
There's a fellow by the name of Neil J. Peterson. He was on the podcast. You can check that out. Truman's Town Hall Podcast. You guys can check that out. Um, but he gathered the needed signatures. It was 5,000 signatures. He gathered those and a little bit more. And he is running as an independent. If these signatures are certified, he will be on the ballot to run against the Democrat, which will probably be Nan Whaley, former mayor of Dayton, versus the Republican candidate, which is looking like Mike DeWine. So let me play this. This was his announcement. Neil J. Peterson, Ohio gubernatorial announcement. Just check it out. Call to action. The United States is losing its freedom. The people of Ohio are losing their freedom. But there are great states that are willing to fight back. Christian God-fearing patriots who will not be muzzled, who will not be silenced, who will not back down in the face of tyranny. And today, I declare that we are taking Ohio back into the hands of we the people. From this very pulpit where the gospel of Jesus Christ is proclaimed, I proclaim that Ohio will be saved. And today on August 15th, I declare from this very pulpit my candidacy for governor of Ohio. If you're just joining us, this is Neil J. Peterson, independent. We will have his uh, signature certified soon. Hopefully. (laughs) It's Ohio. Thank you. Thank you. You may be unwilling or unable to fight in this battle for liberty, but are you willing to stand? Are you willing to stand against medical tyranny as our nurses and medical workers and federal workers and many others are bullied and intimidated into being vaccinated against their will or be fired? Are you willing to stand against the forced shutdown of small businesses and schools and even our churches all under the guise of public health? Who ran that? Are you willing to stand for our Lord Jesus Christ and freely assemble at your church without the fear of the government dictating how many can be there assembling together? Are you willing to stand against the overreaching federal government control as things ratchet tighter and your civil liberties erode? Are you willing to stand for morality within our state and to protect our kids and our public schools from the extreme leftist agenda to make boys into girls and girls into boys? Are you willing to stand up in the face of fear? Because when we fear God, we fear nothing else. All right, folks, you can check that out. Neil J. Peterson, uh, he's got a YouTube page, he's got a website, all that stuff. He's also on Facebook, right here on Facebook, Neil J. Peterson. Let's see, I believe it's Neil J. Peterson for governor. Neil Peterson for governor of Ohio 2022. So you can check that out. Excuse me. Let's go back to the results. They're refreshing minute by minute. So precincts reporting, 84%. We'll go over to the lieutenant governor and governor. Folks, uh, I I think we could probably call it for Nan Whaley. She's at 65% now. And it's probably safe to say DeWine's going to take this one. He's sitting at 47% with uh, over 80% of the precincts reporting. Uh, Joe Blystone's at 22%. And Jim Renacy is at 27%. Ron Hood at 
percent. Let's go over to the attorney general. We already talked about that. You guys know that there's only two folks running. Uh, the same with the auditor. Let's look at secretary of state. And uh, Frank LaRose is probably going to pull this one out too. So Frank LaRose, 64% over John Adams, who was, in my opinion, a far better candidate for all of us. <laughs> um, interesting. Uh, but that's okay. Hey, good luck to Frank LaRose over uh, Chelsea Clark. I don't know if I said Clarissa earlier or not, but let's see. U.S. Senate, U.S. Senate with 83%. Folks, it looks like Vance is pulling this one out. He's got 302,000 votes now over Josh Mandel. With 226,000 votes. And Matt Dolan coming in third. What self-respecting Republican voted for Matt Dolan? I don't know. Uh, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but as a candidate for the Republican Party, good night. Folks, the Trump endorsements are sweeping Ohio right now. J.D. Vance, Frank LaRose, sweeping Ohio. He's running the Republican Party. <laughs> wow. <sighs> I mean, that's cool. Trump's cool and all, but... Huh. Interesting. Um, there's something else. You know, when you do... Like, I do a podcast, an audio podcast, because, as you can tell, I have a face for radio. Um... Oftentimes, I get messages. So I went out and voted. And on the podcast, I told folks who I was voting for. And uh, these are the some, some of the messages I get. Because uh, on the podcast, when you tell people who you're voting for, this is, this is what they have to say. And I'm going to play it for you. Anyway, I voted today. I just want to let you know that, Tom. Um, and no, I didn't vote for uh, J.D. Vance. Well, Vance who little, I hate Trump, I'm an anti Trump, but all of a sudden now I love Trump, because Trump's going to endorse me, and I'm in his pocket, yeah. No, see, I didn't do that. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you, well, I'm just going to tell you. That second amendment, you know, I, you might hate me for it, but I couldn't do J.D. that, so I had to go with that status. <gasps> oh. No, I didn't play. I didn't play the whole whole recording, the whole voicemail, because I wasn't going to put him out there like that on who he voted for. That's y'all's private business. Who you vote for? Um, let's see here. Is yep. So yeah, Matt Dolan's. He's out there holding his uh, his thing right now. Um. Let's go to the results. Let's look, see where we're at, see if they keep, we're at 84%, 84%. I wonder if anyone is calling this race. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look and see if anyone's calling the race. Like I said, DeWine's probably gonna pull this out. There's gonna be some folks saying, well, if, uh, if Renee C and Hood didn't get in this race, then Blystone would have took it. And then there's some that's going to say, well, if Blystone didn't get in, Renacy could have took it, and so on and so forth. Well, they may have a point. But I say this. This is America. And we're allowed to run for office, okay? And no matter what happened today, uh, there still may be another liberty another conservative-minded candidate on the ballot in November over DeWine. Well, look, look what happened in the primary. Now that's going to split, and then Nan Whaley's going to win it. Folks, well, you, if you want liberty, you better get out there. You better help campaigns, whatever side you, you like, and uh, help them get to victory. Because I, it's my belief that you're allowed to run for office. You're allowed to vote for who you want to. And if you don't want to split the vote, then put up candidates and vote for good, sound, liberty candidates. The Republican Party, 
<sighs> we need help. I'm a Republican. We need help. But uh, it is what it is, folks. Let's see. Let's let's get back on here. Let's look at some of the results. We're going to go over to Governor and Lieutenant Governor. Yep, Nam Whaley. Looks like we're at 85%, folks. 85% of the results are in. Um, Nan Whaley's still sitting at 65. So, like I said before, we're calling it for Nan Whaley. Uh, Governor, Lieutenant Governor. Folks, DeWine's got this one. DeWine's got it. He's sitting at 47%. And then uh, Renese, or Renese's at 27%. Blystone's at 22%. Ron Hood. And his lieutenant governor, Candace Keller, are sitting at 2%, right? 2%. Let's go over to, let's look at the senator race. That was pretty tight. The senator race was pretty doggone tight. Uh, 32% for J.D. Vance. Uh, Josh Mandel, 24%. Hmm. That's for the Republican side. And, and we talked about Tim Ryan. He Tim Ryan already had... Had it sealed up. I think he did a video um, or already went out and did his acceptance speech for for that. So the U.S. senator on the Democrat side is we're going to be going against, as Republicans, Tim Ryan. And he said, bring your Republican members or bring your Republicans to our uh rallies we're gonna we're gonna take this back we got a new thing whatever all right <laughs> um let's see here let's go over to secretary of state it yep frank larose trump's appointee frank larose is gonna probably take that one so folks there it is the primary is uh pr pretty much in the books i mean we're at 85 percent um Mathematically, I don't see anybody beating J.D. Vance. I don't see anybody beating Frank LaRose or DeWine or uh, Nan Whaley. So it's going to be DeWine versus Nan Whaley, I believe, according to the unofficial results. As I say, this is these are the unofficial results for the Ohio election. Um, yep, we're at 85%. 7,000 precincts reporting a total number of 8,951 precincts. So there, I mean, there's still a lot out there, but I, let's, I mean, according to what I'm looking at here, what I just said, I mean, it's unofficial, but I believe Nan Whaley's going to take the Democrat primary and she's going to be going for governor, which folks, I, I'm, I, I live really close to Dayton. <laughs> Nan Willie is not what you want for governor in the state of Ohio. That's just me. But uh, let's see here. You know what? Let's take a break from that. Let us look through some news here and see what we got. See if there's anything coming out. I'm going to, and I hope you all are having a good night tonight. Let's, let's go over to... Oh, I don't know. Let's do Drudge Report. See what they got. Um, they're talking over on the Drudge Report. They're talking about the uh, the the leak, the leak, folks, the leak from the Supreme Court. Wow! So it looks like Roe v. Wade is going to be overturned. Roe v. Wade, huh? I love babies. I'm cool with that. Yep, they're already calling NBC News Vance wins Ohio GP Senate primary after Trump endorsement. NBC News projects. And that... Yeah. All right, folks. There's just a lot of different news in here. We'll, we'll, we'll try this again. Um, this isn't... Our studio, I just wanted to set this up to do an election night rundown of what's happening with this Ohio primary. Like I said, there may be a folk or a fellow on the upcoming ballot, Neil J. Peterson, as an independent to run against Nan Whaley and Mike DeWine. 
So we'll see what happens. Um, maybe we'll do another quick little update if we can. Let's go over here. Yep. It's still 47% at 85% of the precincts reporting. So, you know, I said the Democrats, they're going to have Nan Whaley, and I believe uh, the Republicans are going to have Mike DeWine. Mike DeWine. That's fine. Because there may be a Liberty candidate coming down the line named Neil J. Peterson. I hope you all have a good night. Um, hmm. Talk to you later. <laughs>